everyone, Josh here with Fresh Start Customs. And today I wanted to let you guys know what was happening where I've been. I've been printing this nonstop with this new 3D printer here. Um, I know the channel is primarily about laser engraving, but we will be doing some 3D printing uh, videos in the future too. So if you like that, go ahead and follow along here. I've been wanting one of these for a long time. Went ahead and bought it on the sale that Bamboo Labs is currently having. This is the P1S. I went one model down from the X1C just because I don't think I'm going to be doing carbon fiber printing and if I do I can always upgrade this. But overall if you want to know the size comparison right here is the Glowforge Pro to the right of it here. And as you can see all these little um, strings on top of the Glowforge here, uh, those are how many prints that I've actually done so far on this machine. So I've been printing pretty much non-stop. Um, the average print is anywhere from 40 minutes to like four or five hours. So it does take some time to print compared to like the Glowforge obviously with the laser, but this will be 3D versus 2D. Um, and then I'm gonna share on the screen in just a second, a lot of prints that I did. Some of them I gave out to family members. Um, some of them uh, I do have photos for, some I don't, but I'll share those with you. As you can see right here, we have the um, business card holder. Let me go ahead and grab that really quick. So this is like a three tier business card holder. Um, and then we have our largest print so far is this uh, waste chute here. So it, it shoots filament out the back here and then it rolls up in these little balls. Let me grab one like this. So you gotta, you gotta get rid of those. This is a removable chute so you can actually pull it apart and then put it back together. So you can empty it into the trash can. Overall, this has been a really great machine. Um, I haven't had any real failed prints quite yet. So that's been awesome. Um, if you have any questions about it, let me know in the comments below. But let me go ahead and share some photos of things that I printed. All right, you guys. So for the first print, I'm going to show you that I did with the 3D printer is some of the largest prints that I've done so far are these two organizers here. It has a lot of removable parts and inserts. As you can see, there's six inserts down in here. You can remove this whole top here and get two inserts right up here. And then it also has this little tiny removable tray if you need more depth here with this part on top. So what I did is I went and essentially made this uh, themed for the Glowforge and for the X tool. I didn't have light blue, so I went with the orange for the Aura and the um, uh, Spark machine that they released just so it kind of flowed correctly. This it's perfectly on the left hand side of the Glowforge and then this fits really well on the back side of the Xtool S1. Um, as you can see I went black and green to match Xtools as well. Same exact unit you can kind of see this little shallow tray here better with the black and green offset. Um, so super cool print I wanted to show you guys this first this is one of the biggest uh, projects that I've done but I do have one larger than this that I'm going to save towards the end of the video. So let's move on to our, our next um, print here. All right, you guys, so for the next print, these are the cable organizers here. As you can see, if I tilt this up, you can see all the different charging cable types. Um, if I need like the micro USB, I'll just pull this out. You can unwind it by pulling both sides here, and then you can wind it back up by just tightening this like that. Super cool little print, uh, comes in super handy. If you don't have a 3D printer, um, I'm planning on organizing my life with it. <laughs> it works really well. Um, if you can see here, this one's empty. Um, I'll show you what it looks like here. It just opens like this. Let me move this out of the way. You put your cord through here and then you can twist it up. Um, once you close it, you just twist it like this. Um, and it just uh, snaps right into place and locks. So this is a super cool design. It actually printed in place just like this. I didn't have to do anything with the hinge or the circular assembly. It just prints and works just like this, uh, believe it or not. It's kind of crazy how I can just print in place like that. And then the hinges just instantly work right off the bed there. Super cool. Wanted to show you guys that. I thought you'd get a kick out of it. I also built or printed off this entire tray that they, they kind of just like click into this little slot here for organization. So that's super cool. Um, I still need one more cable for this one, but I wanted to show you guys how it worked. And that, yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. Let's go ahead and go to the next print here. All right, you guys, so for this next print, I posted a YouTube Shorts video on this. It got a lot of attention, um, and I'm sure you guys are probably wondering what this thing is. 
The file itself is from the handy app from Bamboo Labs. Uh, it's called The Predator. Um, what, what this essentially is, is just a fidget toy. There's nothing really special about it. You just uh, open and close the claw and it, it just goes off this plastic spring. It's all plastic fed um, and made. All of these parts just snap together. So there's several parts, but it all snaps together. There's no glue, it's all friction fit. Super cool. It's not really strong enough to pick up much. Um, so it's more of just a toy to um, entertain yourself with. But if you were wondering what that was from the, the YouTube shorts the other day, that's what that is. Um, and let's go to the next print here. All right, you guys, so to pick up the pace a little bit, here is three of the print in place boxes that I made. So literally these print just flat like this that are open. Um, all three of these just print just like this. You also have a hinge that prints in place too. And then the hinge just works right off the bat. All of these hinges work as well. Literally, I didn't have to put any of this together. You just snap it one time into place. And then uh, these work uh, down in here and then they just lock into place too. Super cool, it works for all of these. We have like the little eyeglass case here, the longer case, and then this square case here. So super cool, it works perfectly right off the bat. Like I said, it just prints off just like this flat. Um, and then everything just works, kind of co coincides with each other. Now there are different hinges that print separately that you do have to snap together. I was just testing different ones that can print in place, and I think it's super cool. Um, this would be a really cool thing to merge with all of our laser projects in the future. So it has like a door that hinges open and no more joints that would be involved. So that's something to think about too in the future here. All right, you guys, so this is some of the very first things that I printed was uh, these little tool holders here. So as you can see, um, this just clips right inside your tool, and then it can be mounted on the wall just like this. You just mount it straight on the wall. Um, it'll hold your tools there, so that's super cool. And then I also made battery mount versions too. So you just slot this in like this. Um, I made the Dewalt version and then also a Milwaukee version. I'll go ahead and show you this in action mounted on the wall with a Milwaukee version here right after this. All right, you guys, so the next uh, print here that I did was actually a couple varieties of AirTag holders here. So here's one for a wallet. You just pop your AirTag right in here. Um, this one is for like a dog collar, or you can put any kind of belt through here. This will actually clip on and off if you want to. So you can actually use just this and put like double-sided tape and stick it to something, or you can put it around a collar or on a book bag or something, click it into place, and then it won't go anywhere. Um, this has just a snap-on fit on the top. It's really secure as well. And then you have your air tag inside. So basically just a regular air tag, you pop it inside, snap this on top. And then um, I do have a third version, which is similar to these that clip on, but it doesn't have the clip. So once you remove the clip itself, like I showed you, the third one that I have looks just like this, except there's two screw holes here and here. I already have it on my uh, bike. That way, if I ever go bike riding, I can go ahead and uh, track down my um, bike itself. But the other difference is, is it's a screw on cap versus this snap on lid. So I do like the screw on cap um, as well, just so it's a little bit more secure whenever you're riding like a bike or something. But overall, there's all sorts of different options that you have for these. All right, you guys, so for this next print, this is just a little box here um, that opens, kind of like a kaleidoscope type deal. Um, and it opens with just this little tool here and the gears um, all pr pressure fed and held in place right here. Um, so super cool. I'm just using it for loose change. As you can see, I've got a couple quarters in there right now. Um, instead of throwing it on the desk when I get home, I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in here just so it looks more tidy. Plus it's kind of cool to just open and close. It's pretty fun to mess with. Um, this is what the side looks like with the little edges and ripples here. Um, but yeah, overall, this is a pretty cool little toy here. Um, and let's go ahead and move on to the next one here. 
All right, you guys, so as you can see, this is the largest piece that I have ever printed yet. It's a full wearable Iron Man mask. Um, it is connected by magnets, so if you grab the front here, I can pop this off. Right now, it's in three big pieces, the mask right here, the back piece, and then the jawline. Um, if I connect the uh, cheek, though, I, it glues right inside here like this, and it glues to the jawline, and then it becomes one big unit, so it's just two pieces that click together. I haven't decided if I want to do that yet. Obviously, it'll look better with the cheek in there, but um, I'm still deciding on if I want to make that permanent decision or if I can get even smaller magnets and find a way to connect that uh, cheek piece there. But overall, this is super cool. I printed it with copper filament um, and red and black. I wanted to do a shiny red, but it just wasn't um, adhering to the board correctly. So I may update that in the future. But overall, this is a cool, um, probably the coolest design that I've done so far. And like I said, the largest. I had to upscale it to 110% to fit on my head. Um, but overall, uh, I think this turned out really well. I have a little bit of polishing and cleaning up for it to do. But overall, I'm pretty happy with this thing. Um, if you have any other questions, uh, just leave them down in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoy some of my first prints here. And we'll catch you guys in the next one.